in a puzzle. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collect. Today I'm not going to share with you any cookie tutorial but I'm going to share with you how my family and I put a puzzle together during quarantine. And while we were putting together the puzzle it came to me that life is very similar to a puzzle. So I'm going to share with you a little bit of how we did it and some thoughts about my 20 girls. was our first time building a puzzle this large. At first, we used a rule that our kindergarten teachers taught us. Start by the corners and edges. In the beginning, it was easy, but after completing all the edges, it started to get it complicated. We were lost as so to what our next systems will be in completing this puzzle. So then, we came up with multiple strategies, like organizing them by color and shape, slowly but surely, because of our different strategies put together, the puzzle started coming to life. The process of building a puzzle reminded of our lives during the year 2020. At first, we started this year with a lot of hope, thinking that our lives will be better or at least the same. Although at first we went through a lot of changes in our family, we were scared and had confusion as to where our next steps will take us. Yet, we still had a lot of faith that things would turn out well, which they eventually did. Again, like with the puzzle, we had a difficult time getting started and seeing how on earth we will get to the end product. My channel was growing very nicely at that time and I was proud of how things were going with my brand. Yet, who would have expected a life event that the whole world will have to endure? With the onset of the pandemic, everything began to change. There was not a lot of time to think of a solution. I just knew that we had to act fast in order to ensure our safety. The jump into the unknown filled us with a lot of fear and uncertainty. We had never been through a pandemic. Due to the fact that everyone was going through the same pandemic, we all had to put a stop to our lives. This gave me the chance to take a look at my own life, and at last I had the time to organize my life, as with the puzzle. I categorized things into what I needed to keep in my life and what I had to let go. With a lot of prayer and teamwork as a family, the fear began to fade, and we quickly learned how to live our lives under the circumstances brought on by the pandemic. Each member of my family adapted to our new circumstances and kept living our lives to the fullest of our capabilities. Furthermore, every single person in the world had to likewise adapt to what the pandemic had in store to each of them. Oh. Everyone slowly started building up their pieces to their life puzzle. With a lot of hope and faith, we are closing this year, and I have learned that nothing in this life is guaranteed, but nothing is impossible. Using our intelligence and talents, as well as working together with others, we can adapt to what we have to live. And just like building a puzzle, there are days when you can't put a piece together because nothing makes sense. And then there are other days where after searching for that critical piece, you can begin adding more and more pieces to the puzzle. Soon, 
after the puzzle is done before your eyes. Yes! Yes! There you have your finished puzzle. But then, there comes along a time when someone picks it up, move it, and it falls apart. And you have to put the puzzle back together. Nothing is sure in this life, but what is sure is that you can put pieces together as they come along. And also during this quarantine, I learned a lot on how to be present in the moment and how to savor all the things that I have in life and mostly how to be grateful for all the things that support my daily life. This year we all have to work together to see the end of this pandemic and I know that if each of us put a little grain of salt together, it will be possible, okay? So I am sending you a super, super big hug to all of you and it is full of gratitude because you have gave me the chance for each week to work on the video for all of you. And I hope that I can continue growing my channel. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please, please, please subscribe. I still have a lot of material that I want to share with you. And I hope that you come along with me in this 2021. Happy 2021! Bye-bye!